This is a short little video to look at the setup and the basic variables in the emission spectra lab for lab report three. So this is a diagram of our setup. You see the picture in the lab um, page, but I want to diagram what each of the positions means. So you have the two rulers, which are represented by the, X, the black bars at perpendicular angles to each other. So let's look at the major points of this setup. So at one end of the ruler, you have what's called the diffraction grate. This is what you would look through and it would split the light apart into its individual wavelengths. It's a small plastic piece that's got thousands of little lines etched in it per centimeter. And then you would glance down at the light source, which is at the far end, down the length of one of the axes. So the long axes between the diffraction grate and the light source is what we're gonna call the x-axis, all right? That value is gonna remain constant throughout the experiment because you're not gonna move the light source and you're not gonna move the diffraction grate. And we actually set this to 100 centimeters, makes it nice and easy, one meter for you to work with. Next up, you have the y-axis. So this is the ruler that's set perpendicular to the first one. This is going to allow you to measure how far away from the light source you see the emission line through the diffraction grade. All right, so you're going to measure the distance from the light source to the apparent emission line while looking through the diffraction grade. This takes two people when you do it experimentally, one person looking through the light, the other person standing at the other end with a pencil and drawing along that meter stick until it lines up with the emission line. And then you can calculate the distance from the light source to the emission line. And last but not least, you have the light source. This is going to be our tube containing a single gas, which is then electrically excited to the point that it emits its own light, which we're gonna break apart with the diffraction grate into its emission spectra. So let's look at the variables we have in our setup. So the blue line represents an emission line. Okay, so this is when you're looking through the diffraction grate, you see this apparent emission line. So you've lined up with this. So that gives you the x-axis, the distance from the light source to the diffraction grate, which we've set as 100 centimeters. And you'll get the y-axis, the distance from the light source to the emission line. Using Pythagorean theorem, you can get the hypotenuse, all right, the angle to the right triangle that you just produced. Now, if you don't remember the Pythagorean theorem, it's in the lab notebook, but to get this, roughly speaking, z would equal the square root of x squared plus y squared. So that allows you to get z. The other main factor we have to get is sine theta. Now sine theta is the sine theta is the sine of this angle right here. Now we're not going to do actually punch the sine button on your calculator or anything. All we're going to do is calculate the numerical value for sine theta. The numerical value for sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So y, which is the opposite side to that angle, over z, which is the hypotenuse. So using sine theta and the constant for how many lines you have in your diffraction grate, which is 5,360, you're able to calculate the wavelength of light for that particular emission spectra. And you're gonna do this for the multiple wavelengths that you have data in your table for. I hope this helps. Have fun with the lab.